Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Camille has also aged up. Are you gonna age up for us, Club? Where are you going? Are you just leaving us? Okay, you went all the way outside to age up. Hey, my little Peacherinis. Welcome back to another episode of our Not So Berry Challenge. Another day in the lives of having three toddlers. Three toddlers to try and handle. Uh, things do be looking calm and peaceful and honestly very flowery. This but oh, okay, they, they are not the good kind of bugs. But there's like other bugs around. It's all very peaceful, all very quiet. It is the middle of the night. Talk like a pirate day is over. The first time I've ever allowed a talk like a pirate day that I can remember in uh, recent history because of course little Clem. One day dreams of uh, buccaneering and criminalizing across the seven seas or at least across the seven Sims kingdoms. I don't know how many there are. Uh, who knows? But we are back with another episode today. I am gonna be aging up this little chitter in two children. They have two days. Ugh, I've got hair at, like literally the end of my nose. Oliver. They have literally two days left before they become children. And if you guys didn't check out my last uh, video, I did a CC shop specifically focusing on. Okay, Clem, you are such a naughty kid. Coming in stink. Is it naughtiness or is it bad parenting? I'm gonna go for naughtiness for story-based purposes. Coming in screaming at them while she's being stink and also having a good old cry to herself. But yeah, I downloaded loads of new CC, specifically children and toddler CC. So you will see some new little rig outs this episode and new hair. We'll also have a bunch when we age up into children. And I also specifically was searching for alpha black hair that I could use on Kami and on Ty. So we've got a bunch of extra stuff for this episode. I'm really looking forward to you guys the CC. You should check out the video because I linked all of the description. And I'm looking forward to seeing how these three look as children. So we'll get to know them a little bit more. So, oh, and we're eating more treats. We're eating some uh, sourdough for breakfast. It's, I mean, that's not too bad, honestly. That's really not that bad at all, but yeah. Okay, so there is little Ty. I gave Ty, if you guys remember, I was really excited about this bun bun. I love bun buns. I just, I even have my own bun bun under this wig now, and I just really like like a little bun bun like this. So I gave Ty a bun bun. Clemmy, I've kept her hair the same, but she does have a new daytime look. And in order to see that, why don't we go ahead and give her a buff? so that we can see her nice new hair. Kami is still sleeping, but Kami also has a new hair and rig out. So once we've got them all washed and cleaned, you guys will be able to see them. And I'm gonna check on these guys. Five days until they're elders. Molly has two days until they become elders. We've only just acquired the party training skill, like, a day or two before we age up. Good job, Clem. Yeah, it will be potentially Molly's appearance. This episode will get a little bit of an elder refresh. Lila's probably will get an elder refresh next episode, but they're definitely going to become elders quite early in their kids' lives. They probably won't be around for like, you know, to see their own grandchildren. Ash will though, because Ash completed the um, athletic aspiration. So Ash is gonna live forever as James did, but these two are not so lucky. And Lila has reached level 10 of the parenting skill. That's what having three babies will do for you. Also does show that they have all been interacting with their kids a bunch as well. I would really like to get Lila to level 10 of the musician career before before she ages up into an elder. Cause I thought she could spend her retirement writing songs, licensing them whilst Molly continues to paint. And that's how they could like keep making money whilst being elders. But I don't know, we're on level seven. I don't think it's possible. So she may have to keep working a little bit into um, her elder career a hell of a life, not career. However, I don't think she's gonna mind that too much because she is a workaholic, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Oh wow, we're just not gonna clean Clem. I thought we were meant to give him Clem a buff. Did she refuse? Uh, since all the kids are getting really close to aging up, I wanna try and focus on their skills a bunch this episode. Cause I just think it's nice to age up, at least be able to talk and walk, you know, like the basic things you're meant to teach your kid to do. Ty is doing pretty good. Communication and imagination are maxed. Movement, really good as well. Kami is doing even better. Communication, imaginations, and potty are all maxed. And then Clem is doing the worst, but does have a good, like, broad set of skills. Just none of them are maxed out yet. So let's make sure we focus on them for today's episode. And I told Molly to teach Ty thinking skills. Instead, they're both having a boogie in here. The complete, like, lack of respect for what I was asking them to do. I kind of will allow because the moment is so cute. We're teaching dancing instead, which is going to help with Ty's movement skills. So that's pretty cute. Also, we know that Molly naturally is just really good at dancing. So 
I feel like these two are having a little boogie in here together. Yeah, this family can't resist a dance. We we are a very rhythmic family. We love a good dance. However, we also need to start teaching needs. So, okay, so look, here is Clem. Clem will always has this little expression. Here is Clem's new little outfit, a little orange dress. And the bear heart, the bear heart is such a vibe. This heart is the cutest thing ever. And there's something about being like her being a little grumpy bear right now, which is just very, very cute. And then here is Kami's little updated hair and outfit as well with the welly bobs because it's raining outside. So I thought that would be kind of cute. She's got like a little cherry dress on. She's got the like little, a little poof and a big poof in her hair. And then I put the bows on, but I kept the clips on because I thought it was cute. So yeah, very, very adorable. Very, very cute. I'm really loving the new CC I got. I said this in the video, but I feel like it was like my favorite CC like exploration ever. I just really liked it. Ty is wondering if we want to hang out tonight. Why do they say tonight? But then it's midday and they asked me to go to a nightclub. I do not know. The Haunted Harvest. I don't know what that is. However, I am more than happy to have Ty and his family come over tonight. Maybe we could cook for them. That could be quite nice. And yeah, it's definitely skill focused. There are skill bars all over this house going up right now, which is exactly what I want to see. And this glitch is just the weirdest. The weirdest glitch Um, when the child doesn't go on the back when they play. So instead, they just do this whole broken wrist thing. Just very odd. Okay, movement level four for Kami. Communication level four for Clem. Ty is maxed out his movement. So why don't we work on your potty? You can do potty on your own too. And oh my gosh, what? Why is Ty the nicest guy? Literally the nicest guy in the whole world. Hey, I got you a special gift because we're such good neighbors. And I appreciate your kindness and friendship. Want to see what it is? How, how are you this nice? Like, how is this random NPC literally my favorite character this whole gen? Like, how are you so wonderful and lovely? Okay, I want to invite Ty's family around. So Ty is married to Marley. Oh. So Ty, obviously genetically the father of all three of these. But then has Devante, but with a previous partner, Estrella. These guys seem like they got divorced. Wait a minute, Estrella, who we used to work with? What is happening right now? Also has Brina with Amanda. So in total, actually has one, two, three, four, five, six genetically like linked children because actually no 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 has five and then current partner Molly has a child also from a previous relationship Vincenzo Bjergsen oh my gosh a Bjergsen and this is Cameron Milner okay so I need to invite around Molly and Cameron Milner which I can do somehow now but I've kind of forgotten how I do it yeah invite to hang okay it's through my actions menu so Molly is here I can't see the kit maybe I can't invite around Toddlers, I don't know. Yeah, I can't see Cameron, but I would like to meet Ty's wife anyway. I think that would be nice. And they deserve a really nice meal. So, oh, let's go gourmet. Let's cook them something gourmet. Oh, a meatless Monte Cristo. No, a trout. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. And like I said, we like raised, we're going to raise all the kids to know that like Ty is their like biological father, but obviously, oh, they're all rushing straight out to go see. But obviously Molly and Lila are their parents. So that is the way we'll do things. I think it's better to do it like with total like transparency and honesty. I think that's like the nicest way to do things. And it makes sure that the kids never like, there's no confusion. We're just totally upfront and honest with them all. Uh, this is Ty's wife. Doing a nice respectful greeting to Kami. <gasps> so nice. Molly, why don't you do some baking? Please try not to set everything on fire or do some bad bacon. Why don't we make some fudge bars? Molly is, she's got better, but she was hilariously tragic uh, uh, baking, which I kind of loved. Oh, and I think Clem's getting a little snug as well. Ah, oh, that's so cute. Love that. He deserves all the snuggles. Like literally, this man is an angel. And all the children are afraid of thunderstorms. Oh no. Okay, I'm trying to clean up the house because there is like plates on the floor, the sippy cups everywhere. It's just all a little bit of a nightmare. I also want to meet Molly. So let's make sure we do friendly introductions to Molly. Also, Molly's in her pajamas. So let's just sort that out real quick. Because we've got company around Molly, okay? Oh my gosh, there's like literally rotten tofu on the counter as well. And Ty has learned how to ask why of other Sims. Oh my gosh. That's such a kid thing to do, being like, why? Why? 
But why? So I'm gonna make him pester everyone with his newfound ability to ask why. Okay, so I don't, I don't know why Marley's not sitting with us, but a nice little meal with adults around and not just screaming toddlers for once, which is really, really nice. I'm so sad that I couldn't meet their son, but at least we actually cannot talk in baby talk. For even one evening of not being like goo goo gaga is nice. I like that. And who would have thought that bumping into Ty to form a short-lived but very epic street dancing crew would end up in him helping us make a whole family. It's cute, right? It's cute how these things work out. Oh, and who reached level five motor school? Good job, good job, Clemmy. And these guys have gained nice sentiments together. Very cute. Oh, and Molly's baked some nice fudge bars for everyone. They <laughs> I mean, it's fudge, like how glamorous can it look, you know? Let's all grab a bit of fudge. I'm desperately trying to clean the table while they grab the fudge. But the fudge is like way too much sugar for children and Oh my gosh, they've somehow managed to get too much sugar anyway. Luckily, since Ty is so, like, he's very independent, so he knows he's had too much sugar, he's gonna put himself to bed. Kami's in bed already anyway because she's afraid of the thunderstorms, which just leaves up little Clem. Where are you at? Which just leaves up little Clem with a chocolate fudge bar, wanting to chit chat in the adult conversation. Not wanting to go to bed and basically just having far too much sugar. Yes, the food is yummy, but you're now, you're tired and you're about to enter sugar high. A big block of fudge is too much for a toddler. It's way too much. And yep, we are now on a sugar high. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Oh, stomping around with our little... <gasps> Where are you going? Where are you going? Why are you leaving the house? Uh, what... <laughs> You've had your sugar and now you're angrily walking around in a thunderstorm. Clemmy, babes, no. This is just... Go back inside. It's a thunderstorm out here. No! Now she's streaking! Clemmy, no! Don't... Oh my gosh. You going outside in the thunderstorm is stressful. It is stressful. I don't know what just... You just glitched out and all your clothes came back on, which is great. That is exactly what I want. Get to bed. Stop streaking. Stop being naughty on your little sugar high. Okay, the sugar now. The sugar crash. We're angry for my sugar crash. At this point, I don't blame Marley being like, yeah, your naked screeching toddler is making it so that I want to leave. So thanks so much for the food. Bye. <gasps> oh, Ty's given us our gift. What gift did he give us? Some fruits to grow our own little garden. Oh, I love this man. This is my, like, it's tough. There's been some great NPCs during this whole Not So Berry challenge. But honestly, Ty genuinely is definitely, oh, look at Lila watching this cute scene. Love this. Ty is probably one of my favorites because I just love him. I honestly feel like with Lila's challenge, I love Lila. But I feel like the other characters, like Brenton and Celia and Ty, I feel like her support and cast was the best part of her challenge. Oh, and the kids are in a... Love this! This 5am routine! Yay! This is exactly uh, what I wanted from my children. A 5am wake-up routine. Best routine ever. And I love how they know, like... Oh, they've woken up Molly, but both of them, their intention was to wake up Lila for breakfast. Lila, who's feeling unchallenged and tense. I think you do have work today. Yeah, you've got work at 2 p.m. today, so at least you can get <laughs> away from the children just for a short amount of time, just for a little amount of time. And we'll try as well to do everything we can to get a promotion at work. Oh, and geez, no wonder Ty brought around some seeds because the garden is kind of looking quite tragic. Yeah, I mean, that one didn't even get off the ground. That one didn't even start growing. I feel like since, you know, Lila is like, it's like plum, but it's hard because it is literally purple, isn't it? So I'm going to grow some purple fruits. But I need to have a think about what we can grow for orange gen. Of which I really don't know what to go for. I feel like Molly having a bit of gardening during her elder years though. Vibe, love that. Can I literally buy and grow clementines? Because that would be kind of cool. Like, can I not grow an orange? Surely I can grow an orange. Hmm, maybe not. And the bills are high, but we actually get so much money now from our royalties and selling patents and stuff that we can pay them easily. And it's actually a sunny heat wave today. Okay, I'm gonna buy the little toddler pool because I think that would be a nice way to celebrate the heat. Yeah, originally this house did have one. I just got rid of it when I was trying to save a bit of cash, but now we can put it back in again. And yeah, the toddlers can have some pool fun. I wish you could place a bunch. Like, can I not place all the toddlers in there at the same time? 
It makes no sense to me. And okay, I'm starting to get the notifications about it being almost their birthday. It's almost Ty's birthday. Ty is the oldest. He was born the very firstest of all. Kami is in the pool time right now. Okay, Kami with Ugg boots in the pool. Kami not enjoying pool time all that much, but oh, kind of having a matching outfit to mom, which is cute. And then finally, little Clem having pool time as well. All of them having a bit of pool time in the summer. We've obviously got the pirate ship ready for when they become children as well. So that's exciting. And I'm having Molly do it all because Lila's back at work today, which I'm sure she's incredibly happy about. So get working hard, try and get us this promotion, please. And then I'm going to start getting cakes ready for tomorrow because I know I don't have to do triple cakes. Cakes, I can just like go ahead and use the same cake three times. It's a lot of sugar, <laughs> but I kind of want to bake three cakes. Uh, I want to bake every type of cake I can do. Wait, why? I need a carrot for that one. Though I don't have any carrots. Okay, what other ones can I bake? Oh, it's because it's cook. I forgot the most annoying thing is same. You've got to cook a cake, not bake a cake. I hate that so much. Okay, what kind of posh cakes can I do? Oh, <gasps> blue confetti cake. Yes, don't mind if I do. Oh. Oh, and wait a minute. Don't we have some awards on Sunday? Lila is feeling more confident than ever that she's recording incredible new tracks. And wouldn't you know it, it's just a half as at the annual Starlight Accolades are taking place tonight. Really? On a Monday? Wait, wasn't I meant to go to some Starlight Accolades and I just totally forgot about that? This is the first year that she felt she has a shot at the award. So we'd have to pay a submission fee, but I will gain fame. Oh my gosh, yes. Definitely submit. <gasps> We've become a rising star now. That's amazing. We've got two more fame points. And we've also gained a thousand followers. And we're now talk of the town. <gasps> The paparazzi paid her no mind. But her submission, her late submission was the surprise of the show. And her name is on every celebrity's lips. Yes. It's happening quite late, but it's happening for us. And we are giving it a bit of fame. Nice. We've got two fame points. I have the no touching quirk already, but I'm going to get these potions in the mail. They sound kind of fun. So there we go. And yeah, when were the Starlight Accolades? I can't believe I forgot about that. I really wanted to get an award. Oh, well, it kind of gave me one all the same, just in game. So that's nice. And let's watch Clumsy. She is, does have the Clumsy trait. However, you were smashing things in the sink a minute ago, but now you seem to be baking a beautiful confetti cake. We'll do two more. I like the Sims in summer. Isn't that summer of Sims thing starting soon? I don't know what that's all about, but just kind of reminded me of it. Because I like the summer outfits. I like the hues and the glows of summer. Summer, it's just the best season. I'm sorry, I am a summer fan. Hey, Lila, can I join Coyote Ugly? Love, mom. No, mom, that's really, no, just no wash. I love you, but you can't join Coyote Ugly. It's not even really a thing anymore, but you still can't join it. Okay, blue confetti cake is... You've put it in the flowers, so I can't... I can't reach it! Oh my gosh, no. Why does she keep doing this? I am gonna have to move the flowers from the table. They're gonna have to live over here. They're just too much of a hindrance. Let's put this into the fridge. Um, what other ones can I make? <gasps> Strawberry cake, yes. Lila is in her little summer outfit as well. Obviously orange, because she is the orange gen. Having some eggs on toast. And look at this, Lila's actually a bit tense about all the fame. Now that she's got it, she's like, oh no, all the eyes are on me. She's actually stressed, but you wanted this so badly, and now you're stressed about it. Just shows sometimes what you want, what you, what you think you want, and what you actually want are two different things. And we've also come home to children being far too awake for the time of night. So let's go ahead and put everyone to bed. Today is birthday day. We got, oh, we've not finished one of the cakes. So I have to finish that one off. But other than that, all the cakes are cooked. Actually, we need one more cake because Molly will be aging up today as well. And it's one of those days where everything just seems to go a bit wrong. Okay. And once I've got all the kids like up and washed, I'm gonna do their birthday a little bit earlier just because obviously Lila's got to go to work uh, in four hours, which means already based on this game, I am too late to be honest. But let's go ahead and call everybody around. Wait, where's Brenton? Where is Brenton? Wait, there's, there's no way. He must be nearby. Is he at the door? Where is Brenton? He's still alive. Oh my gosh. Why would you do that to me? Why would you do that to me, Brenton? I can't invite around Dai as well. Like, some of my sims are a bit bugged. I just can't, like, there's no invite round option. I'm assuming it's because they're close, but, like, I can't see them anywhere and I can't add them to my group, so... Kind of weird, but whatever. We've got people around to hang out. Archuro, who, in his little short shorts, is an elder now. Ash, who still looks honestly great. We've got Vernon Pancakes, who's now a young adult. We've, of course, got Surin. Who else has come around to join the gang? I wonder what's going on in Surin's life. Surin, what do, what do you do? Can I, like, ask him some questions? I want to, like, ask if he's single. I want to... Ask it what his job is. 
Give him a big old hug. Soren is still single. I can't ask him about his job. I just want to know about him. Like, what's going on in your life, Soren? Tell me all. Oh, we aged it with the goofball trait. We've learned that about him. That's cute. That fits him. I like that. And uh, let's try and get to know Vernon a little bit as well. Where is Janet Pancakes at too? I invited Janet Pancakes round. Vernon is single too. Where did Janet Pancakes go? She's here somewhere. Oh, and Vernon has the artist personality type. But it's materialistic. Okay, interesting, interesting. I'm gonna get the cakes out ready for the kids and also for Molly too. So we should have... Oh no. Who started eating one of the cakes? I had a blue confetti cake and someone's eating it. Who has a sugar rush right now? Who is it? Who ate my cake? I mean, I can't see who it is, but I'm kind of feeling like it's Clem. Okay, looks like... Oh my gosh, three kids. I can't actually wait for them to age up. Looks like someone is gonna be sharing a cake, but we got this cake. We got this cake. I mean, the cakes look great, Molly. Good job. Let's like add birthday candles to stop anyone eating from any of these. Okay, and then let's age them all up in like age order. So let's first of all age up... <laughs> no. I would like to age up the children. Oh, it's because I need to be help blow out candles, of course. Okay, so there we go. We're gonna do a little tie first. Blowing out the candles, becoming a child. Do your little spin. I like your little shorts. You got cute little shorts tie. Okay, here we goes. So oh, a little flop cut. A little flop heart cut. Not a cut, it's not a flat cut. So Ty is aged up first. Oh, Tyler skills a toddler earned a bonus trait. What? Nice. Well done, Ty. What was Ty good at? Can I see like motor? He was good at everything. Honestly, just pretty much good at everything. Outgoing. That makes sense because Ty was an independent kid, so I feel like he'd be quite an outgoing child. And since you were pretty good at everything, we've listed motor at the top and you did like dancing a bunch. So I'm gonna give you the motor skill. There we go. Okay, next up is gonna be Camille. And Lila was meant to be at work. I had to cancel uh, her going to work. And okay, we got little Camille about to age up as well. Camille, where are you going, babes? Where are you going for your age up? Are we leaving? Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Camille has also aged up into a child as well. Here is how she looks so far. She looks a lot like Ty, okay. You didn't get as high as Ty, but you still did pretty good. You were silly as a toddler. Goofball as a child. Oh my gosh, it's doing it so well. I feel like silly, goofball, they kind of lend themselves towards social. So I'm gonna make you a social butterfly, which leaves our final child. I'm gonna do this with Lila so that the heir is doing like the next heirs aging up. The final Babalaroo, which is Lil Clem. Okay, so here we go. We've got Lil Clem blowing out her candles with Lila. Uh, passing the torch from one gen to another. I mean, we're on episode two, so that's kind of already- Oh! Was that meant to be you aging up? Are you gonna age up for us, Clem? Where are we off? Why have you got the most awkward walk in the whole world? Where are you going? Where are we off? What's the deal here? Are you just leaving us? Lila does have to go to work, so if you can speed this up just a touch, that would be great. What? <laughs> what is happening right now? Clem, you're meant to be aging up. Why would you go this far to age up? You're going to the pirate ship? Okay, you went all the way outside to age up. Okay. Now, I think I have to start giving you one of your traits. And we're on orange gen, which is evil, self-assured, and glutton. I guess I can pick anyone as the first one. However, based on your toddler antics, I kind of feel like glutton is probably going to be the best one for you. And for now, your aspiration doesn't matter too much because your eventual aspiration is going to be public enemy. So I feel like for now, I'm going to keep you on this creativity path. She likes to create these stories where she's a pirate and all that kind of thing. So we have a pirate ship. So I feel like that makes the most sense. And okay, we kept the red hair. We've kept the red hair. So that's good. Would you be looking quite angry right now? And there is one final birthday to do, by the way. <gasps> with the green matcha cake, with the candles on it and people have still eaten it. Are you kidding me? Because we've got to do Molly's birthday as well. All the cakes literally got eaten. How did they eat the matcha cake with the candles on it? That I do not understand. But yeah, Molly has to age up as well. So Molly is about to become an elder the same day as all the girls. Actually struggling to blow out those candles. The lungs. Oh, gee, she, where, where did she go? We'll never know. Uh, Molly has aged up too. Where did she get end up? 
Why did you all go here to age up? I don't understand why that's a thing. But we are gonna go ahead and nip into Cass so I can give everyone their CC. I've put full edit on so I can add skin details. And Cammy and Ty instantly good friends as children, which is good because Clem is meant to be a black sheep. So for Molly, what should we do for her elder form? Okay, I've got these Ebonix hairs do come in a gray version as well, but it still says dark at the root. Maybe I don't in, like have to go gray with her hair color straight away, but I can at least age her face a little bit. So there we go. A little bit older looking, still very, very beautiful. I used to have a septum piercing. Would I want to be messing around with a septum piercing as an elder? Probably not. They do take a bit of maintenance. So I'm going to remove her piercing as an elder. Then I'm kind of like looking at outfits that have like relaxed, floaty, painting, doing a bit of gardening, pottering around at home sort of energy about them. And I thought this dress and cardigan combo was pretty cute. I like cardigans on elders because I feel like you get, you feel the cold a little bit more when you're older. And this is like the only series where I've actually given elders an older look. So I like embracing my elders as elders in this series. And Molly's always preferred comfy footwear. So let's stay extra comfy for elderness. There we go. So an elder Molly, just a little bit older in the face there. Still incredibly beautiful. And let's check out the kids. So let's start with Tyler as the oldest. I'm gonna take your little flap cap off, Tyler. And let's have a look at some skin details options. My game's running a little bit slowly. Please don't crash because I've not saved yet. Okay, so as a reminder, here was Ty's toddler appearance. And here is how they look currently as a child. I want to use some of the new hair. This is the hair that they had as um, a toddler. But I kind of wanted to try like a new style as a child. And I think that's super cute. It's kind of still got the same like Shave sides with like the top, but instead of a bun bun, it's a little bit more of like a pony sort of vibes now. I think that looks really nice. And, oh my gosh, I just realized I did all that on hot weather. Switch back to their day-to-day -day outfit and they actually have blonde hair here. And I do have the option to do blonde tips. So I think I will because they actually had that hair when I got here. So here is update Tyler. I'm gonna give him, I wanna try out some of the new clothes that I got because I didn't see my kids stuff yet. Oh my gosh, love. Love this little coat. That's so cute. Look at the little feeler. I really want some new clumsy alien kid stuff because it's like my absolute fave. But oh, I've got the trousers. Oh my gosh. Okay, give me one hot sec. Look, the trousers have got little straps on them. Oh, he's so trendy. What? Oh my gosh. Yes, I love this. This is like, oh my gosh. <laughs> this might be a bit much, but I can just legit make him the trendiest child who ever lived. I have to do it. I'm sorry. Tyler is so freaking cool. I love Tyler to bits. You are such a little dude. Okay, so there's Tyler. And then we've got Kami, who's so cute. What? So as a reminder, this was Kami as a child. And I remember Kami having like freckles, the starts of freckles as a child. So I thought we'd keep that into like a, sorry, as a toddler. So I thought we'd keep that on like her child form too. And I'm sure I used a custom eye color on her. I feel like she had these eyes. So I'm gonna keep those eyes. I'll give her a little eye flex. I love that I've got so much hair now to choose from for her as well. The hair it's given is really cute, but obviously we're gonna try and find like an alpha hair. So as a child, as a toddler, I keep saying child instead of toddler, she had like their mismatched bun, uh, bun buns, which was so cute. And I really wanna try out some of the new hairs. So this was toddler hair. So we've got like, the pigtail braids. Oh, we've got quite a lot now. We've got like long, like this too. Poofs. That I think she had as a younger toddler as well. Okay, that's super cute on her too. <gasps> this is gonna be hard because they all look so nice. Oh man, I don't know which to go for. Oh my gosh, what? Sorry, I've fallen in love with this one and this one has an accessory. I just gotta find it. Oh my gosh, look at these. <gasps> that looks so nice. I like the gold ones. Yeah, that looks really good. Okay. Very happy with that. I want to give them all like a separate school uniform as well. Okay, so I've got loads of new stuff, but I, I really like the little cardigan on her. Because I like the idea that like she sees her mom's wearing cardigans and she's like copying her mom. I think this color is so pretty. Although it's summer. I mean, it looks great with boots, but it's summer, Claire. Okay, I'm going to give her a bit more of a summer look. I know these are still autumn leaves, but I like the leaves being the same color as the little accessories in her hair there. So this is our little social butterfly Camille. And then finally, we've got our air. So this is how Kami looked as a toddler. This is how Kami looks as a child currently. Let's go ahead and pop the same skin details on. Okay, I'm putting a 
freckles back on her. This is how she's looking currently. I, I feel like I need to lighten her eyelid scleras, but I don't have the tattoo option yet on like her body type. So I can't lighten up the light bits of her eyes, but eventually we will be able to. And then I did download like a specific hair for her. I mean, that was her child hair, but like I've mixed up everybody else's hairs. So, oh, I'm on hot weather. <laughs> I'm trying to find like, I downloaded a specific hair for her and now I can't find it anywhere. So I think for now, I might go for this one. And then I will try and find the one that I've lost. I do have like this option as well. But I feel like this kid already looks a bit like Lindsay. And then if I do this, I, I'm just making this kid into Lindsay. Which I don't want to do, you know? Okay, let's have a look at some little outfit options. And we want to stick orange. We want to stick with the theme. But I'm also kind of like imagining her on her like her little pirate set. Like up to no good, pretending that she's like a buccaneer. So yeah, there is little Clem, little buccaneer future pirate Clem. And then I want to show you guys this that I downloaded. If it appears, which you better do or else I'm going to cry. It's like a little school uniform. Oh my gosh, yes. So I'm going to give them all like a little school uniform too. I find the green one very cute. So it's the second outfit. They'll all have school, school uniforms. So there is Clem in her school uniform. Here is Kami in her school uniform. And then here is Ty in his school uniform. So yeah, let me know what you think of all three of them in their child appearance in the comments below. Do you have a favorite of the triplets so far? Let me know which one is your guys's fave and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you think of their child appearances in the comments below and I'll see you guys in another one. Bye!